why why are nigerian transport system this bad like i don't understand why is it this bad they, they can't keep i couldn't believe, believe i cried at the bus stop i couldn't believe tears dropped from me person welcome and welcome back again to my channel my name is Omar if you are seeing me for the first time and I create content around natural hair a little bit of beauty lifestyle and every other little things in between not forgetting DIYs natural hair DIYs yeah so if you're looking something you're interested in something you like something you would love to see don't forget to click on the big red subscribe button that is below and don't forget to hit the bell right beside it so you'll be the first to get my video alert each time i upload a new video so from in this video uh it's sort of a story story video and <laughs> i want to share with you guys my experience why returning from sokoto state if you're actually watching me from outside nigeria sorry I took it too fast. If you're actually watching me from outside Nigeria, Sokoto is in the northern part of Nigeria. Yes, northwest, I guess. So, this video is kind of a story. Story. I've said that before. So, without further ado, let's dive into the story. So, friends, uh, like some of you know, I actually served in Sokoto State, northern part of Nigeria. Yeah, I did my NYC, the National Youth Service is actually uh, something that is mandatory for Nigerian graduates once you're done with your school you have to go serve your fatherland as they target as they call it so and that will actually be done for one year so I was actually posted to Sokoto State and after my one year I decided to come home yeah I didn't go home for one whole year I decided to come back home. Farms. Hmm. Hey, good. I really don't know. Like, I really don't know why. Oh, uh, in Nigeria, the amount of transport, like the transportation in Nigeria, once is during festive period, gets so exorbitant, like, gets so expensive that people. People literally don't even want to travel during festive period. That was actually my case. Yeah, that was my case. So I actually left. I wanted. I I wanted to travel on the fourteenth. I guess the fourteenth of the fourteenth of December. But along the line, something really happened. I'll be sharing a video on that soon. Something really happened, and I had to postpone my travels till the 19th of december guys you see we're already close to x mass period already close to 25th so i went to the park i okay i went to the park on 15th that oh sorry on 14th when i which was there i was meant to travel earlier on i got there i bought a new ticket no i exchanged my ticket i told them that i, I wasn't going to travel again because i already purchased my tickets on 13th yeah i already purchased my ticket on 13th so someone will be asking me now why didn't i take flights if traveling by road is that expensive what do you expect with traveling by flights traveling by air and besides i was carrying load like i bought stores i was carrying load i was carrying load and i can't take that load to the airplane yeah so back to the story on on the on the 18th of december i went bought my ticket and on the 19th they actually wrote 11 a.m that's that was, that's that was when they wrote or oh, that was what they wrote on my ticket and around past 11 i was at the park i was at the bus stop with my friend guys do you know that I was at the park, like I was at the bus stop from 11 to past 4. Let's count it 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 good hours. Like, why why are Nigerian transport system this bad? Like, I don't understand. Why is it this bad? They, they can't keep to time. 
they wrote 11 a.m. and some some other um passengers that i met there some had 10 a.m on their ball on their ticket some even had 12 a.m like what, what the heck aside them charging um so much like aside them charging so much why wouldn't you keep to time we were there they started repairing the car like i met them repairing the car they were repairing the car to uh, that's for that we left so fans i was there finally when it was time because what they usually do is before we move they have to pay people that does that yeah and those people i think they get money from they make money from the amount the exorbitant amount that they charge from people to me i think that's extortion that's extortion yes you heard me it is extortion so fans they got to my they got to my bag yeah they would even go as far as asking, asking you to open the bag even if you have you have you locked it with uh, a lock or ask you to unlock it and then open it for them to see the contents of the bag that was my case the man asked me to open the bag i opened it he asked me is this the only, only bag i have i told him no that's my box i ha i have my box and then the bag i i packed the stuff i got guys guess what hey guess what this man boldly confidently told me that i was going to pay eight good thousand naira wait wait you're telling me i was going to pay eight eight thousand naira for what that was what i asked him i said for what and he was like okay i'm asking him for words he left guys at this point at this point guys i thought i i didn't know what i didn't know what to do again at this point i i just i just i just wanted to forfeit this traveling i just wanted to forfeit it because if i give this man eight thousand naira now what happens when i get to the bus stop because if i get there i would still have to board another car coming back home that would take me to my place went and sat down okay no i didn't i didn't go to sit down i because i wasn't the only one he gave such huge amount of money he gave some ten thousand naira some i really don't i don't i didn't i did i don't even want to know <laughs> i don't even want to know so what i did was when he told me that amount I had I had this new friend I met at the park. Uh, he he's actually the one that issues tickets, and he actually helped me when I came to issue, when I came to get my tickets for the second time. He actually he actually removed <laughs> removed some cash from from me. Yeah, he actually removed some cash from me, and then that's it. So I went to meet him. I told him C C C C. CEO, CEO, CEO. Okay, before then, I actually met him before then. He said, okay, I should go. And whatever he tells me, whatever they tell me, I should back in. And then I went there. The man told me that huge amount of money. I came back and I told the man. He was like, okay, I should go and I should ask for the manager. I, tell him, God, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what. I just, I, at this point, I had just had to go and sit down. So far, I'm saying, long story cut short i <laughs> i finally met this man and we talked i started from three thousand era i started getting from three thousand era guys i i did i didn't tell you the, the amount of money i paid for transportation no. hey i'm not going to mention it hey i started getting from three thousand era he said no i told him okay i pleaded i look i pleaded i pleaded on three thousand era this man refused I told him, please, if I get if I get to Onicha, which is the bus stop, where the bus will stop, I will still have to board another car coming down to Ebony State, and and it's, it's not like it's not a one hour journey, it's not a two hours journey, it's not even a three hours journey, depending on how fast the driver is. Do you know what this man told me? He said, okay, that if I get to Onicha, I'll come to his place and stay. I said, oh, fine, fine. If that is it, I'll come to your place and say, just take the three thousand naira from me. I'll come to your place. <laughs> I'll come to your 
come to your place and stay. This man refused. Like this man blatantly refused to take three thousand naira from me. I said, let me ask for the naira from you. He said, okay, fine. That I should get five thousand. See, ah, hey, wait, wait, to kill a lay. This man know they hear it and they talk. <laughs> I said, I don't even have four thousand naira to give to give you. I asked me to get five thousand naira from where. Finally, finally, guys, finally, finally, we stopped at four thousand naira and I. I paid the four thousand naira. Okay, Oga, I have paid the four thousand naira. Come and pack my bag. You packed other people's bag, and it's becoming obvious that the boots where they pack uh, bags is getting filled up. It's getting full, and you've not put my bag. You've not. So, guys, hey, ah, uh, I am it, <laughs> It was at this point this man told me I should go and pay an extra 500 naira to those people to pack my bag. Yay! Eh? Hey! I said, okay, wait. Fans, at this point, I started crying. Yes, I cried. Yes! <laughs> I literally cried. Like, no, I practically cried. I practically cried at this point. I didn't know what to do. Okay, fine. You know, you know, I was going to pay an extra money for them to carry my bag and put inside the car that I, I, I paid for. I bought tickets for. Why did you not have to collect four thousand naira from me? Why did you collect? Okay, why, okay. Let's since you want to collect four thousand naira, why didn't you make it three five? Then five hundred naira for the people that will carry the bag inside. Like Nigerian transport system. Why? Why? Yes. Why? Why are you making things difficult for us? Why? And it's like that um, hike in, in fuel. They would increase the, 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 the amount of transport. And it's like that. And it's, and it's like that thing. They would just increase the amount of transportation. Why is it always like that? Especially during festive period. Listen, seriously, this must stop. This, this, this has to stop. This has to stop. Especially during festive period. You don't want us to travel again. So fans, um, as I was just crying, I, in fact, I, I, I didn't know what to do. I had to go back to that my friend. I told him, see, 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 see. At this point, I couldn't even speak because I was crying. I was crying. I got, I, I went to him. He told me, come inside, come inside, come inside. I came in. He said, well, what is it? I told him. <laughs> That after paying four thousand naira, this man said she come and pay five hundred naira again. Where, where am I going to get five hundred naira from? I'm not stopping not on each other. It's not my final post. Like, <laughs> I couldn't even speak because I was I was in tears. I couldn't even say okay, okay. I should stop crying. That I'm always crying. <laughs> he said I should stop crying. I should stop crying. This man actually gave me the five hundred naira. Like, I didn't I didn't believe it. All, all I all, all I I I thought that he would do was to go and tell them to just pack my bat. I, I didn't expect him to give me the cash, the money. I didn't expect him to give me the money. Seriously, I didn't. And all thanks to him, he gave me the money and and he told me I should stop crying, I should wipe my tears, I should go and pay them to pack my bags. Guys, that is it. That is just it. I didn't know. I seriously, I don't know. I don't know why things have to be this difficult for for us in Nigeria. We are we are the ones making things difficult for ourselves. We are the ones making things difficult for even if even if we have to add add uh, money to to the already existing money or to the already cost of transportation, it shouldn't be that high. And then to pack, okay, that that's not the end though. Even when I got to when I got to Onicha, for them to also pack my bag, the dude was calling four thousand naira. Four thousand naira for what? After paying another huge amount of money for transportation, you ask you asking me to pay four thousand like. This time around, because I know I didn't, I don't have anyone to rescue me, and they are ready not to pack my bag. <laughs> I told him, please, I will give you two k. I'll just give you two k, please. Just my, I, I had to beg. He collected the two k, guys. Now tell me, how did we get here? Seriously, guys, how did we get here? That is, that is just, that is it. I, I couldn't be, I couldn't believe I cried at the, <laughs> I couldn't believe, believe I cried. At the bus stop, I couldn't believe tears dropped from me. Like even 
even when I was trying to hug my friend and I, when I was about entering the car, I, I, I couldn't even look into her eyes. She was like, oh my, calm down, calm down. Because this, they frustrated me. I left my house since 11 a.m. I couldn't even eat because I was trying to meet up with time. I thought they would leave as early as they wrote in their tickets. She was telling me, she was even begging me to, I could I lost my appetite because what, 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 what? If you enjoyed this story, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like. That's the thumbs up. Oh my. That's the thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment. And don't forget to share. Please, if you've not subscribed, I beg you, don't subscribe. Please, if you don't subscribe, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell right beside the subscribe button. So you'll be the first to get my video at last each time I upload a new video. Until then, remember to be kind and generous to one another. Yeah, God is always watching. Like natural catching me say, give me a picture. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video.